in this video we are going to learn some of the basic commands these commands are very important and we will be using them in the whole process of setting up our server so let's start with a very basic command ls ls lists all of the files in your current folder at the moment we are in the root folder and all of the our files are located inside the root folder and the second command we, we are going to use is cd cd is uh, used to for opening of the files uh, folders let's see if uh, let's say we are going to we want to open the folder folders are actually called directories in linux so let's say we are going to open home directory to open it we are going to use the cd command and simply type in home and press enter so now we are in home directory as you can see here to see what is inside the home directory use the ls command we don't have anything is inside the home directory if this shows nothing and that means there there are no files inside the folder let's make a new folder inside home folder to make a new folder or directory you are going to use a command which is mkdir stands for make directory and then name of the directory let's call it folder one and press enter let's see if we have created the file ls now we can see our folder one if you want to download something directly to your server you need to use a command called wget let's use this command as an example I'm going to download a Linux image you can download anything videos mp3s anything you want to download directly to your server or maybe backups from the old server let's say we want to download this penguin image let's copy this URL and go back to putty and use the make sure first you go to the folder where you want to download the file we are inside the home folder and we want to download our file here uh, type the command wget and then paste the URL of the penguin image and press enter we have downloaded the file to our home folder let's see if we can browse the file from here alas yes as you can see we have the vector underscore tux and this is a PNG file and let's download one more file to our server is an Ubuntu image and go back to putty use the wget command and paste the URL and we have downloaded the file let's see if we can see the file inside the folder yes it's there Ubuntu logo and now we are going to learn how to copy remove and move your files inside folders let's say if we want to copy our file to a different folder to do this we are going to use a copy command which is C P and now we are going to copy Ubuntu dash logo 14 dot png and we want to copy this uh, file to folder 1 enter the folder 1 slash the file name 
let's say we also want to rename our file to ubuntu just ubuntu.png now press enter let's see let's first go to the folder one we are now inside the folder let's check the files yes we can see the ubuntu file we also copied the file and we also rename the file at the same time if you don't want to rename the file just use the same name as it is right here let's see how we can move the file inside another folder let's first make another folder make mkdiri which stands for make directory and make another folder let's call it child folder let's go in uh, let's first move the file for moving file we use the command mv which stands for move and then the file name ubuntu dot png and we want to move the file to child folder child folder and want to keep the original name it is very similar to the copy command just we have to use the mv instead of cp now press enter oh sorry i enter ping instead of png let's do this again one two dot png child folder slash ubuntu dot png let's see if we have successfully moved the file or not go to cd child folder we're now inside child folder let's check for check files yes we have moved the file let's go back to our server to go back to your previous folder you will have to use the cd command plus double dot dot we are back in folder one let's list the files now there is no file called ubuntu because we moved it inside the child folder let's go back to child folder cd child folder and now we are going to learn how to remove a file first list the files we have one file called ubuntu.png let's remove this file to remove a file we use a command called rm which stands for remove and simply enter the name of the file we want to remove and press enter let's see if we have moved the files yes there is no file left let's say if you want to remove all of the file inside a child uh, inside a directory or folder you use a command rm plus star it will just remove all of the files inside that folder another file is another command is if you want to let's say you have many kind of uh, files inside a folder and let's say you want to only delete the images jpg images to do that you need to use rm star and then the f extension let's call it jpg it will remove all of the jpg files from that folder and there is another thing uh, if you want to copy a file with all of the uh, copy a folder with all of the uh, files inside it you will need to use a different uh, command that is cp dash r we have now learned some of the basic commands and we will, be, we will learn more commands as we go more deeper inside the course that's it for this tutorial see you in the next video